How much does weight affect your karting lap times? Well, today I'm at the Lucille karting track to find out. I'm going to be doing two sessions. In the first session, I'm going to be setting a benchmark lap time. Bear in mind, I weigh 62 kilos with my karting equipment on. In the second session, however, I'm going to be adding 15 kilos of ballast weight in the form of a 10 kilo weighted vest and five kilos of weight, which I'll be sitting on. So let's compare the fastest lap from both sessions and see how much of an effect ballast weight really has. So as we start the lap heading downhill through the sequence of turns one, two, three, it's all flat out through here. And in fact, the ballast weight should give me more grip through these corners. We're heading up to turn four now. We'll just pause it here to see. We're actually neck and neck side by side. Now this is where it gets interesting because turn four leads us onto the back straight through the kink of turn five and six. Uphill we're going once again. So with ballast weight, I'm definitely gonna be suffering. This leads us to the entry of turn seven, where you can see without ballast weight, I've actually pulled the head by about one and a half cart lengths. As we negotiate turn seven, I've actually gone a bit deep into the corner without ballast weight, which has compromised my run all the way up through the kink of turn eight and now through to turn nine. The turn nine left-hander will pause it at the apex point. We've caught back up with the ballast weight. So this is the technical middle part of the track, the left, right, left sequence. It definitely felt a lot smoother with the ballast weight through these sequence of corners. The cart felt planted to the track and heading through the double right hand turns now, the second right hander you can notice was still side by side. So we haven't lost much time with the ballast weight, we actually gained through the middle sector. Final sector of the lap now, through the sweeping left hand turn, which leads us to the final couple of corners, which are taken flat out. And notice on the left-hand side, without ballast weight, I'm actually gonna be gaining time, heading onto the main straight now. You can see we've pulled ahead by about a cart's length. So all that hard work I did with the ballast weight to keep up is all gonna be undone, as we're pretty much a sitting duck all the way to the finish line. And this is what a half a second difference looks like. So my fastest lap when I was 62 kilos was 1 minute 1.214 and my fastest lap after I added 15 kilos, so I was 77 kilos, was 1 minute 1.745, a half a second difference. The advantage I got driving with the ballast weight was that there was plenty of grip available through the corners, the cart was a lot more stable and it wouldn't slide easily. However, when it comes to acceleration and exiting the corners, the cart feels very sluggish, hence you lose time as you go on to the straightaways. I hope you enjoyed this mini experiment. Let me know if you've tried this at your go-kart track and let me know the results in the comments.